Transition Awareness Breathing. Feeling grounded for both children and parents is essential for healthy living and learning. Join Earth Apollo on this series for tips and tools for creating a harmonious environment for learning. Transition Awareness Breathing will help you and your child find an individualized path to tackle change, promote lifelong learning, and discover new approaches to calmness. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Welcome back to Transition Awareness Breathing Podcast. As we begin our podcast today, I welcome you to find a space And I'm talking about more than a physical space where you can get into a comfortable position. I'm referring to a mental space, an inner space. As we continue our discussion on exploring boundaries and barriers during our podcast this time we're going to really explore different boundaries and barriers and I hope that the information that you receive is educational and it stimulates a desire to release and let go and explore beyond your barriers. Welcome. Let's get started. So let's explore some negative effects of barriers. And I'm going to just go a little farther and let's say some emotional barriers. Emotional barriers can cause mental blocks. It prevents people from expressing themselves and freely being open and sharing um, their thoughts or feelings. It can prevent people from really, um, maybe in a work environment, performing the best that they can be because maybe there are barriers in the work environment. Sometimes they are informal. Um barriers that people may not want to talk about Uh, people ignore the barriers because of a negative effect that is an example of a barrier anything that prevents a growth prevents um, a person from growing growing mentally or physically or spiritually is can be perceived as a barrier if someone is in an abusive relationship it could be emotional abuse or physical abuse or unfortunately the wild, the world has just gotten really wild you know it is certainly a barrier and anyone who is in a relationship where you find those barriers and you need help to escape from that situation call for help easier said than done because people who are in those barriers if they could easily leave they would have left it's usually the reason why they're so um It's so difficult to leave because there is something, a barrier, in control, holding them back. This is a negative, um, an example of a negative barrier. Sometimes in our environment, we don't even realize that we're faced with barriers. In the workspace, we kind of adapt because there may be uh, physical barriers because of the workplace design? Do you work in an area where they have um, different, uh, the desks are situated, maybe they're 
distant, they're so far away, or maybe cubbies, and you, you have like a, the wall in between you and your space, or you know, maybe it's different people barriers. You work in one department, another person's in another department, and so you know you have to converse with them. And so people overcome and adapt and use different means of communication. Uh, other workplace um, types of barriers could be noise, background noises. Um, sometimes, I know in my workspace, uh, if I, as I'm doing these podcasts, I really have to find a place <laughs> where the environmental noise, you know, I want to give the ambiance of being in nature and uh, being kind of calm and with nature, but not with the sacrifice of being so difficult to hear or or the noise or the background is so distracting, that could be a barrier for, for my audience. And so those are barriers we deal with probably every day. And we use creative things, creative styles, uh, our imagination to decrease any distractions so that the barriers don't interfere with our communication. Does that make sense? Another type of barrier are perceptional barriers. The perception that one group may have about another group. Uh, oftentimes, we may have a perception that all teenagers know about computers and technology. And the reason why that's a perception, because some teens may not be as savvy as you think. And a lot of teens are. However, we want to be open and not create barriers or an unexpected levels of expectation. Or you may have an older person and a perception barrier may be, oh, they may be challenged. You know, they may not have, may not know anything about social media. Let's go in a little bit deeper about emotional barriers. Anger, pride, and anxiety definitely can be barriers towards communication. Thank goodness we are learning how to be aware of our anger, of our anxiety, also learning how to bring gratitude into our lives to kind of make us a little bit humble so that we're not pushing our personalities that we may not be aware of that's stopping us from being the best that we can be. Often, as I said, we may not even be aware of some of these emotional barriers. And many times we develop these emotional barriers because of our experience or our personal values or what we have grown up with, how we were treated at school, how we were treated in our own families. And so we created a boundary that eventually became a barrier. Okay. So we're going to stop here for now and continue next time. Right now, I invite you to transition and participate in this short practice. The goal of this practice is to release through the breath. This is a time that in your mind, you can release and go beyond your barriers. And the purpose of going beyond your, bur your barriers is to explore and to find new avenues of creativity, of relaxation, and of peace. Enjoy your practice.
you prepare yourself and get into a comfortable position, I invite you to be aware of the inner space, the inner peace within your mind, within the inner core of your soul is there no matter what your barrier may be I invite you to take this moment and tap into it tap into that part without barriers some may call it daydreaming some may call it relaxation just a moment in this place without barriers releases your creative spirit And as you allow yourself to be free and to flow and to release, allow yourself to be open, to receive to be thankful and find that spark, that creative spark, that calm spark that's been hiding until now. And take a breath and release any barriers in your mind, in your soul, and in your heart. Thank you for joining me, and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Have a great day. Be sure and pick up a copy of Tab Mindfulness, Awareness and Coloring Activities in a Pandemic World. It's not just an ordinary coloring book. It features 23 illustrations to stimulate thought, relaxation, and creativity for anyone between the ages of 4 and 94. Increase your positive self-talk energy. Unlock new creative paths. Transform your time once or twice a week to create beautiful art while strengthening confidence, building positive self-talk, and sensitize self-awareness. Tab Mindfulness, awareness and coloring activities in a pandemic world. It's available now at Amazon.com.